everyone, welcome to another Deep Dive episode. Now this is an exciting one. In this segment, we're gonna be exploring the all new 858 engine. And joining me to do so is Jeremy Mammon, engineering manager for Powertrain Design. So Jeremy, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Ben. So simply put, tell me what is the new 858? So it's a twin cylinder, two stroke, lay down twin engine, features 858 cc's of displacement. So Jeremy, from what I understand, the 858 is based off of the old 800 that, you know, Articat riders are already very familiar with. So what are some of the commonalities that we see between the 800 and the new 858? So some of the commonalities is we've kept the uh, 85 millimeter bore that we had on our 800 cc engine. We have increased the stroke by 5.6 millimeters to get that extra bit of displacement. We've also kept with the lay down engine design, which is something that we know we love. It's part of our DNA and we don't see ourselves moving away from that anytime in the future. Now I want to talk a little bit about weight reduction. What have we done to reduce the overall weight of this new engine package? So what we really did is we looked at every single part we could and we put it on a diet. So uh, the biggest part that we really took a lot of weight out of was a crankcase. So we spent a ton of time um, with our computer modeling, finite element analysis, looking at every opportunity to remove any little bit of weight. We we're looking at any material that was just kind of along for the ride, not structural, not needed, um, and took that off and then added material where it was needed. So um, we were able to get a lot of weight out of our crankcase. Um, also, we were able to get a fair bit of weight out of our new exhaust valve system as well, um, and some other features too. What about the engine mounts? From what I understand, we have a different engine mounting uh, structure for the 858 that we do for the 800, even the 600 that we see in current Catalyst. Is that right? We do. So this engine, the motor mounts are bolted directly to the engine. So our current 800 and our 600cc engine, even the Catalyst platform, has a, uh, a, a plate on the bottom of the engine. We've been able to reduce that or eliminate that plate, um, which allows us to get the engine farther down in the chassis, farther back in the chassis, and then as well eliminate, you know, the weight of that, that extra component. So I, I want to go back to what we were talking about earlier about having the same bore diameter, but increasing the stroke for the 858. What led to this decision? So really it's all about efficiency. Um, the larger you go on bore, the more difficult it is to have an engine with good run quality and an engine that meets all of our emissions targets. So, um, we honed in on a border stroke ratio of about 1.1. Uh, we felt that was a really good balance of where we wanted to be for you know several reasons. Um, also, the bigger you get with bore, um, it makes the engine bigger. So, picture your, your your piston getting bigger. Now your whole engine has to get wider to accommodate that. So, again, we're looking at the overall um, dynamics of the vehicle and the overall package, and we really didn't want the engine to grow any larger than what it what it had to be, especially width wise. Yeah, so simply put, we needed to find a way to balance power, performance, efficiency, weight, all those things and package it tightly to fit within this Catalyst platform. Yeah, that's right. And we ended up at 858 cc displacement because uh, we felt that was really our best balance between weight, power, and packaging for the vehicle. Um, we felt that if we would have increased the displacement much beyond that, the engine would have uh, grown significantly larger, significantly heavier. Um, so it was really, it was really kind of where we wanted to be to really maximize um, that engine for the overall package. So next I want to talk about some of the other components that strap to this engine to really complete the power plant package. And I want to start with the intake system. What is new about the intake on the 858? So the air intake system is very much a carryover from our 600 catalyst, very similar to our 600 catalyst air intake. We have our air draw up high, right where you want it. So you're not going to really have the risk of capping off in deep powder. Then if you do somehow manage to cap it off, we do have a secondary draw underneath the hood. Uh, so you never really run the risk of, of starving your engine from air. That then feeds into a dual 50 millimeter throttle body into the engine, which then feeds into our V-Force reeds, which we've been very happy to partner with V-Force. They've been extremely durable reeds and we've uh, been able to see some really nice power gains with them as well. So Jeremy, one of the first things that I noticed when looking at this cutaway is this radically new exhaust valve system. I wanna talk about this, but I first wanna back up and, and, and walk through why do we need an exhaust valve system to begin with? So really the purpose of the exhaust valve system is to give us better power and run quality at lower speeds while still maintaining you know good power and run quality at higher speeds. So it gives us Really, it's, it's like two engines in one, right? So you have that good torque at low speed, and then also it, it'll run hard at higher RPM. 
So like I said before, this new exhaust valve system looks radically different from what I've seen before from Arctic Cat. So tell me, how does this new exhaust valve system work? So the new exhaust valve system is something that we're very proud of. It's uh, something that's never been done before on a two stroke and something that we've patented. So uh, really, instead of having the typical guillotine style exhaust valve that we've used in the past and that our competitors use, you have, you know, one guillotine valve that controls the main exhaust port and then some variation of guillotines or drums that control the side exhaust ports. We have one valve that controls all three ports at the same time, which allows us to reduce the amount of parts in the system for one. And then also the valve really makes up and call it the roof of the exhaust port and kind of varies the shape of the port, which allows a lot smoother flow out of the exhaust than you know, a typical guillotine valve, which is just, you know, a gate that kind of drops down in and disrupts that flow. Um, also, the exhaust valve itself maintains a very close relationship to the piston throughout its travel. And what that does is offers uh, greater, greater run control and greater efficiencies for us. So rather than just cutting off the, the, the flow of the exhaust, we're actually manipulating that area of the exhaust system in, entirely. Yeah, that's correct. Yep. So what sort of efficiencies or benefits do we see out of having an exhaust valve system like this? So this exhaust valve system offers about 250% greater range than what our existing exhaust valve system does, which gives us a lot better run quality down low. Uh, helps with our torque, helps with our emissions, gives us a better overall all engine package which is something that we targeted from the very beginning is a key requirement for this engine. So we talk about an all new exhaust valve system. What else is new with the rest of the exhaust system? So the exhaust system, the big news with the exhaust system is that we moved to stainless steel for the manifold and the exhaust pipe. And that allows us to use a thinner gauge material than our typical mild steel, you know, that we've used in the past. Um, in doing so, we're able to save a pretty significant amount of weight versus our 800 Pro Cross pipe um, and manifold combinations, about four pounds actually. That's super awesome. So Articat really had a unique opportunity to be designing an all new engine with an all new chassis. What was that like to be part of that engineering and design process? So it was great. You know, typically you're either designing a new engine and putting an existing chassis, you're designing a new chassis and you're putting an existing engine in it. So um, this was really a unique opportunity for the whole entire engineering team to really work together and design an engine and design a vehicle in combination with each other that were really optimized and uh, really work well you know, with each other. Well, it's been really cool to talk to you about all of the weight savings, efficiencies, and performance upgrades that we've seen in the 858, and I am super excited to get this thing on the snow. So Jeremy, thanks for joining us. Thanks. If you guys want to learn more about what's new for Catalyst and Model Year 2025, check out the rest of this series or visit our website at articat.com.